thank you. What's the last name? DeWitt. DeWitt, party of two. All right, your captain's gonna come up to get you guys about 15 minutes before your trip time. He's, we're gonna stop at the restroom before you get on the boat. We also have restrooms on the boat for you to use during the trip. And if you'd like to purchase any snacks or drinks, you're more than welcome to bring it out with you. We don't sell anything on the boat. Here's your boarding pass. Awesome, thank you very much. You're welcome. We're coming up on some California sea lions laying here on the green buoy. There's a big male swimming in the water there. These are California sea lions. And look at the giant male here on the right side. You can tell that's a male because of its size. Same with the one that's in the water. That's a male as well. You can tell by the big bump on his head. It's called a sagittal crest. And sea lions bark, seals don't. That's another way we can tell they're sea lions. And if you can look on the side of the this big guy's head here, you can see these little ear flaps. Sea lions have those external ear flaps, seals don't. And sea lions can climb up on these buoys, seals can't. Sea lions have rotating back hips which allow them to do that climbing, seals just walk on their bellies. They, they wouldn't be able to climb up onto this buoy. These are California sea lions. Well, look what just popped up in front of us as we're cruising out to check things out. We have a gray whale that popped up right out in front of us. Again, you can see how close. Here's our guest on the boat. You can see the footprints of the whale that just went past us. We just dove down. You can see its footprints popping up so you can see which track it's traveling here. That's right. That's where he's been. That's exactly right. It's where he's been, and he'll be up in front of us. Right now, Captain's got it in neutral to allow the whale to get past us. And we've said this before, we want to make sure that we do not disturb the whales at all. We want to make sure that they're allowed to do their natural. Well, this whale has become quite the challenge. All we're getting out of him is footprints. And he did a complete circle on us, turned around and went up the coast. He's now circling in here somewhere where we can't find him. You can see his footprint right there. But we're going to head somewhere else to see if we can find a different animal. We've got a couple of coastal bottlenose dolphins right out in front of the boat here. There they are. Again, these are coastal bottlenose. The bottlenose don't tend to play with the boat as much as the offshore. Don't know if you can see them, but that bottlenose is right underneath the boat. Cruising right along with it. Just sunk out. Coastal bottlenose. Alright, we're coming in a 
couple of new gray whales in a beautiful spot right off of the Montage Hotel here in Laguna Beach. You can see its footprint right in front of the reef here. More gray whales on their southbound migration. Can't get a much more pretty spot to watch gray whales. I'm just gonna pan over here you can see real close their footprint right there in the middle of the screen. That's where they just went down. So they're gonna be very close. There she blows. There are two whales here. Zoom in a little bit more. There she blows. Side by side. Two gray whales on the southern migration. Creek Beach. Whales just popped up. Be just to the right of that rectangular building. There she blows. About that. dolphin that we saw earlier are now in the same location as this whale so you might see the dolphin pop up in the distance. Now watch those dolphins see if they turn around. They're so on those whales. Going see the footprint the right in front of the boat here? They're both up now. See if we can get you a better look at them. Usually whales and their gray whales when they're moving south are pretty predictable in their motion. These guys have been very unpredictable, kind of like the one we had earlier today. And all over the place. Usually you can almost set your clock to them and they'll down three or four minutes and they'll come up and breathe three, four, five times and go back down for three or four minutes. But not these guys. A little unpredictable. Bunch of kelp forest here too, so they might have to come outside that kelp, Marie. Yes, sir. Just 
Captain Dave trying to get some the shots of the whales as well. There they are. Alright, back up on the inside. Inside the kelp. Can you see its footprint? There's a blow. There they are side by side. <laughs>